So Greenlight is an incredible app to remote play our Xbox Series S or X consoles and also do Xbox Cloud Gaming on our Steam Deck LCD or OLED. And here's how to set it up in just seven easy steps. Plus we'll test out how good Xbox Remote Play and Cloud Gaming using Greenlight really is. So let's dive straight in and for step one, let's head into desktop mode. And in our favorite browser, we can search for Greenlight or just use the direct link found in the description to the GitHub page. Head to the right under the release section and the latest version at time of recording is 2.3.1. So let's scroll down, click and download the file with this .app image extension, which is the correct one that works with Steam OS. For step two, let's go to this address at GitHub. Again, link in the description to download an app image launcher, which at the time of recording is version 2.2.0. So head to the releases section and let's download this file with the x86 underscore 64 .app image file. And this will enable Greenlight to work in Steam OS and not just in desktop mode. For step three, let's install App Image Launcher first by heading to where we downloaded it, which in my case is in the downloads folder. Right clicking on the file using the left trigger on the Steam Deck, go to properties, go to permissions, and then tick the is executable box, then click OK. Now let's open up the console app by clicking on the start menu, go to all applications, Scroll down to K and then open the console app. Go back to our downloads folder and you may need to minimize and move the folders around a little bit. Simply drag the app image launch icon and place it into the console app like this. Press Steam and X buttons together to bring up the keyboard and just type the word install and that's it. This app image launcher which is needed for Greenlight to work in Steam OS is now fully installed. For step four, let's install Greenlight by first heading to our home directory. And this new folder called Applications has now been created. We just need to grab our Greenlight app image we downloaded, which in my case is in the downloads folder, and just drag it into this new applications folder. And click move here, and it is now in the correct location. For step five, let's launch and log into Greenlight by clicking on the Steam menu on the bottom left, go to all applications, and our new Greenlight app now appears, so let's click this to launch it. The first time we load it up, it tells us to sign up and log into our Xbox account, so let's do this. When we've logged in, we can remote play our console here, and also go to the xCloud library tab and start a stream with all the available Game Pass games to do cloud gaming. But let's get it configured to use in game mode now. Step six, let's add Greenlight to Steam. By opening up Steam, click add a game in the bottom left, then add a non-Steam game. Here let's tick green light, click add selected programs, and it has now been added. Still in Steam, go to library section, scroll all the way down as it'll probably be at the very bottom. I'm gonna change the name by right clicking it, which is left trigger on the Steam Deck, then click properties, then rename this, which in my case is just to green light, then go to launch options, and let's add the following, which is dash dash full screen dash dash. And this will now enable Greenlight to automatically start into full screen mode. And for the final step seven, let's configure the controls for Greenlight by now heading into game mode. Scroll all the way along our SteamOS library till the very end where it says view more in your library. Go all the way along to the non Steam tab. Scroll all the way down till we see where Greenlight is and let's launch it by clicking play. Now press the Steam button and go into controller settings, select gamepad with mouse trackpad and press edit layout. Let's go to trackpads, then in the left trackpad change this to a single button and change this to the N key in the click section. And for the right trackpad, change the right click from right stick click to left mouse click by pressing this button here. Exit out. Don't forget to press X to apply. And now we can use the right trackpad as the mouse to navigate around the app. Click and select whatever we need and pressing the left trackpad is now our Xbox button and we're now fully set up. And hey, if this or indeed any tutorials right here on the channel have helped, then can I ask a small favor in clicking subscribe as almost 96% of you awesome viewers aren't subscribed yet and help the channel reach the next goal of 10,000 subs by the end of 2024. Thanks so much.
So let's test out some games using green light. Starting with some remote play to my Xbox Series X. First we'll go with Fallout New Vegas, currently hugely popular due to the fantastic TV show. And yes, the experience is absolutely rock solid. It should be noted that my Xbox Series X console is hardwired direct to my router. Sorry, router which obviously gives us the best performance and is highly recommended. And as you can see, there are zero lags. Controls feel really responsive, and even though it's an Xbox 360 title, the graphics still look pretty decent. Next using Remote Play is the incredible Forza Horizon 5, and it's pretty surreal playing it on the Steam Deck OLED in that the graphics are incredible, which just would not be possible if playing the game natively. Again, controls feel super responsive, and let's not forget one of the very best things about Remote Play is that this will now enable us to get 10, 11, perhaps even 12 hours of battery on the Steam Deck OLED, which is just so, so great. Let's now test out Cloud Gaming by heading to the xCloud library tab and let's select a great indie title called Cocoon. I was expecting some slight delay or some buffering, but to me this feels just as good as Remote Play which surprised me. Snappy controls and there wasn't even one bit of lag in my playtime, so Cloud Gaming is definitely a really decent way to play our Xbox Game Pass games if we don't have an Xbox Series X or S console to Remote Play from. I'd love to hear your thoughts about Greenlight, will you be using it for Remote Play or Cloud Gaming the most? And what Game Pass games are you most excited to play using this on the Steam Deck OLED? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to like if you found this helpful and as a thank you for watching right to the end of the video, here are two little treats. The first is a bonus tip in how to customise the green light game artwork, so make sure you've got the Steam Grid DB Decade Loader plugin, press the start button on green light, go to change artwork, in capsule I'm going to select this one, for wide capsule I really like this. And in Hero, I'll select this one. And look at it now, it looks incredible. And for the second little tree, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Remember, if you don't like the situation, you can either take action to change it or change the way you think about it. Either way, choosing unhappiness is no way to live. Life really is too short to allow our circumstances like our job or relationships to make us feel miserable. So let's take an inventory of what's making us unhappy and either change it or get to a place where we can stay positive despite it. So stay encouraged today guys. And check the video out in the top right to learn how to customise game artwork in more detail and the bottom right in how to customise the theme on the Steam Deck OLED. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.